Okay, your bike is on the ground. Um, basically, this uh, this uh, gator uh, garage gator that I bought comes with the bar and comes with cables that you can use, but it's I opted to go to the eight, one eighth inch cable for a little more strength. Uh, as you can see on the bar, uh, I installed two. Uh, I went to uh, the sporting goods store, Dick's, and I bought some ankle weights. I think these are 10 pounders, and I basically just wrapped them over the bar. Uh, in order to keep the, the tension on the cable taut, otherwise, if you don't have that and there's no bike on, or trike on the, on the bar, uh, the, the cable at the top at the pulley will maybe jump jump over the pulley and, and then it, you know, you'll have a problem with that. So you have to keep tension on the cable up top at the pulleys so that you don't have, you don't run into problems with the cable jumping off the, the pulley. Um, so I've got those for weight. On the front of the trike, I, I went to uh, Harbor Freight and I bought some straps, um, some winch straps that they have, and then I just cut them I, uh, I cut holes in the strap and then I uh, uh, installed the rivets. Uh, you have to buy uh, some rivets and a, and a, and a rivet uh, uh, punch set where you actually use a hammer and you drive the rivet. Once you get the hole, you just you know insert it into the end of the strap and then you have to you know uh, use your hammer and, and install the rivet and crimp the rivet down into the into the strap. Okay, then I just have a bolt holding the strap in place, and you can make a different holes to adjust it up or down if you want. Um, on the on the bottom side here, where it hooks onto the handlebar, I had to open up the hook a little bit. In this case, the hook was uh, uh, a little small, and I, I so I, I opened it up on the vise, and then I installed a vinyl tubing over the hook so that it would uh, not scratch the, the handlebar or the frame or anything like that. So that worked out good for me. And um, okay, so we've got on the rear, I have a tow peak rack that I installed on the, on the trike. Uh, and what I ended up doing in, in that case is I, I made a, uh, for all you trikers that maybe want the toe peak on there, I made a, uh, a flat stock a support on the front. It's a one eighth by one inch flat stock, and I just bend it in a couple of different positions, uh, actually three bends, to be able to get it uh, where it ties on your, your fender mount on the bottom here, and then goes up and, and ties on to the top of your, uh, your rack in the front. So that worked good for me. I initially started out with an aluminum, and the aluminum ended up cracking on me as I was out riding. It just the vibration caused it to crack and, and separate, so it broke. And I decided I had to. Uh, I went with uh, uh, galvanized steel instead of just regular steel, and I sanded it down with some light sandpaper and, and painted it black, make it blend in. But that works pretty good now, and I've never had an issue with it. Uh, the rack seems to be pretty solid on there. Uh, here we have the strap on the back, and I just have a little uh, eye snap hook that goes on there. And I basically cut my own strap and uh, sewed it uh, into place, uh, you know, for the desired length that I wanted for my application. And uh, and it works well, so all I have to do is just un unsnap it, lift up on the trike a little bit, unsnap it, and it take it off. Okay? All right, the other thing, too, you may want to consider is uh, some trikes will have a headrest if you opt for that. My Ice Sprint did have a headrest on it, uh, but I still accommodated for enough room with the bar you know, in this situation here, I could raise the front straps up a little bit and, and close this gap between the seat and the bar even more to bring the trike up higher, but I don't really need it. I still clear my Honda Element by probably six inches, okay? 
So there is a possibility of, uh, you know, you're going to have to compensate for that. If you do have a headrest on your trike, you'll have to check that out when you're, when you're measuring to install something like this, if this is what you want. Okay? All right, so now uh, just some other information regarding this. Uh, I bought my, my pulleys from a place online called Block Division. Okay, this is, the, this is the logo for Block Division. And the pulleys that I have, I have a double pulley that was, uh, the, the number for that one is uh, 02558 2 That's a double pulley. I bought one of those at 2329 each. And then the single pulley is a 02558 1 and that was 1342 each and quantity of two. That's a single pulley. So those are the ones that I used on, on this application for hanging the trike. Uh, you also have to cut the cables according to your own proper height. There's considerable amount of measuring involved uh, with, with doing this. And then also when you're uh, crimping the cable sleeves, uh, onto the cable um, with your uh, thimble inside the loop. Um, you would either have to have a special tool to do that, or in, in my case, what I did was I took a 1164 uh, drill bit, actually two of them, and I installed them into, I taped them into the, a vise. In other words, I taped a drill bit here on one jaw, another drill bit on the other jaw, and then I was able to just close the vise on the aluminum sleeve and crimp it down so I don't have to go out and buy a special tool that I might only use once or twice in my life. It wasn't worth it. So uh, I was able to do, do what I had to do as far as crimping, crimping these down to get them tight. And I used two of them on here just as a, like a precautionary thing. One would be adequate. I put two on there just to make sure that it wasn't going anywhere. I guess you could say overkill. All right. So other than that, um, I think that's about it as far as this uh, system. And again, I did have to uh, alter this because it did have two cables coming out of it. I think they were 3 16 cables. So I did have to remove both cables from that and, in, and install the 1 8 inch cable into the crank. And uh, the, you have to crimp uh, aluminum uh, ferrule in there also. So that was a little tricky. You had to take the thing apart and uh, install the cable and then put it back together. So it's all time involved. And then I just have some womanized uh, 1 by uh, 8 uh, on the wall. You could use whatever size you want as long as it's big enough uh, to accommodate the crank. Up top I did the same thing. I put some uh, womanized pieces up on the roof just to hold the hold the pulleys in place nice and secure so that they don't go anywhere. Okay. Alright, so I think that's about it. I hope I covered all the bases with this and I hope that you guys, uh, if you find this useful, that you, know, you may want to get into this kind of system. It's great because you could just get it out of the way. Uh, you know, trikes take up a lot of space in the garage, and you're constantly moving them around. And this way here, you just crank it up when you're done riding, crank it down, and you're good to go. So, okay. Thanks for your time. Any questions, you can always send me a message and... Have lots of fun uh, triking or biking.